All right, we're going to show you today how to um, upgrade your hard drive in a MacBook Pro from a SATA to a um, SSD solid state drive. Uh, it's actually pretty easy, not as difficult as you would think it would be. Um, pretty much what you want to do, of course, is first buy your solid state drive. And um, this particular one I got, this is a, um, a PNY brand. And the model number on this one is C as in Cat, S as in Sam, 1311 SSD. And you can look up that on Amazon, uh, eBay, or anywhere online to find one. You can get one of these used. You can get one of these for like 40 or 50 bucks. Um, if you go up to like, you know, 256 um, storage space, then it would be um, like around 100, 120. And then, you know, if you got up uh, to like 460, uh, space you'd get up to like 160, 170, and of course you know you can get them brand new as well. Um, and I would recommend, I would definitely recommend a, a solid state drive. You're going to find your performance is a lot quicker. You know the shutdown and the startup is so quick. Um, and it's something you'll definitely enjoy. What you're going to want to do is um, you're going to have to have the media. This is actually Snow Leopard, and you can get like Snow Leopard for example. From the Apple Store for like 20 bucks, but you can also purchase, you know, Yosemite um, uh, Maverick as well from the Apple Store. Um, you can also get them online at other places like Amazon as well. Um, but you know, it, this is for a pure, clean, fresh install on a new hard drive. If you want to back up all your stuff and have your original hard drive back back on, uh, you're going to need to use the the Mac. Um, Wayback Machine and there are tutorials on YouTube how to do that and that way you can just install your original operating system and your all your stuff back on it um, you know of course Macs usually come with restore media you know with a disk like that and um, you know if you don't have it and your laptops fairly new you might want to contact Apple and see if you can get the restore disks from it I know there's free upgrades from like uh, Maverick to Yosemite as well so Pretty easy to do. Only thing you want to do is turn it around on its back, and there's going to be a total of uh, ten screws. And by the way, the tools you're going to need: you're going to need a real small uh, Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need a torque screwdriver. You can get this at Lowe's, uh, like a whole set, as you can see there. You can get a whole set, like at Ace or Lowe's, for like fifteen bucks. Uh, if you want to go on the cheap end, you can get it on eBay for like four bucks. And I went ahead and removed most of these screws already. Oops, wrong one. Get my Phillips. Phillips is what you're going to be using on the um, on the back. All right. And so you can see there. Of course, there's the battery. That's the memory. CPU fan, DVD, and that's the hard drive that we're going to replace. Uh, first thing you want to do is unplug your battery. Well, if I can get it. There we go. And your hard drive is being held by a bracket. And by the way, this will work also with white MacBooks as well. The white ones, um, anywhere as far back as 2000 and five and then of course all you know the newer ones up to like 2013 if I'm not mistaken they started putting SSD in the newer MacBook Pros so so take the bracket out Let's see there and you want to be very careful because you don't want to break this ribbon accidentally this is a 500 gig SATA and you want to gently pull this out. Now you can see here on the end there's four screws on the ends. I call these Franken Frankenstein screws and that's where you're going to be using your torque. That's where you're going to be using your torque for.
And so what they got to do is reinsert that back in here. And keep in mind your solid state drive should be completely blank. So there shouldn't be anything on it. And that's of course where you want to install the your new operating system. Whether that be Maverick or Yosemite or Al Captain. Okay, then we put their battery back. And of course you're going to put the screws back, but I want to show this just for demonstration. Um, when you reinstall your operating system, you want to make sure that, that you have it plugged in. But again, this is just for demonstration. You want to power it on. And you're going to hold down the C button. C is in CAT. All right, so the wheel spins for a few minutes, and then um, you'll get to the setup part, which is the easy part. You know, you sec select your language, you know, you agree to the uh, terms and conditions, and um, it will get to the point to where it'll say welcome, and then you press I agree, continue, and then um, you're gonna, it's gonna show you basically the disk, and then from there it's going to. Um, it's going to say 128 gigs free of 128 or whatever the size of your hard drive is. If for whatever reason it doesn't show all the space that is free, um, that shouldn't be the case if you bought it uh, new or refurbished. But if that's the case, then just go up to uh, Disk Utility and then um, click on your disk, your hard drive disk on the upper left, and then choose Erase.